Strangely, this place is pitch dark. I chose a new route to go back to my home. And as you can see, this is pitch dark. Probably I'll show you by the flashlight from my phone. Just now received my new residence card. So, is it yeah. And you peel off the skin? Yeah. It's like my week. Like your temperature reader. <laughs> Most places in Europe, made in Netherlands or made in Switzerland, uh, as a PhD, if you can delegate some part of your work, uh, so delegation is the key. You bring in the research perspective, but building that software within this time duration might be difficult. So what you do is, it is like a win-win for both the parties. So for them they achieve their thesis they learn something on that domain on which they are working and maybe later they might be also interested to be associated with your project or that may lead them to a successful career in job or any kind of software industry and for me it fulfills my phd to some extent so see how the powerful nature of delegation and collaboration come into play together Unfortunately, it is wet outside, so it might rain anytime. I'm going to Hulsberg and I'll catch a bus from Hulsberg to Valkenburg. Then I'll catch a train which takes like 10 minutes from Valkenburg to Maastricht. So, meet you in the Maastricht International Center where I collect the residence car. Reached. Valkenburg station. Now I'll catch the train to Maastricht and it's raining as always. You can see it's sitting. So we have this is the train on the other platform. This goes to Helen. We are waiting in platform 2. We need to go to Maastricht so you can see on the board. It's very far, but it says that we'll reach Maastricht. So we are waiting for Maastricht. Finally, reach Maastricht. So you need to scan out when you reach a station. It's the morning hour between around 8.30, 8.40. So it's quite rush. Just now received my new residence card. It was quite early because I leave early, so I got early. 
it opens at 9.30 but still I got it before. Now I'm walking back to Maastricht station and I'll see you throughout the week. It was a nice experience, it was really really fast than I expected. I mean it was before time. So heads off Andy, great service. Maastricht International Center, hats off to you for serving the people who need new residence permit or a new residence permit. is because they are cleaning the lawns and everything a lot of cleaning going on so this is the building where I walk it's mostly with PhD researchers and professors this is where we go for lunch in the building now those guys are clearing out see you for the week so now we are having this for dinner at a walk near our university this is like fried rice. Oh, the cover is smoked. <laughs> fried rice with fish and vegetables. And this one, my friend, is <laughs> fried rice with chicken and coconut sauce, right? Thai curry chicken. Yeah. Strangely, this place is pitch dark. I chose a new route to go back to my home. And as you can see, this is pitch dark. Probably I'll show you by the flashlight from my phone. So I can see. It's actually pitch dark. Anyways, see you through the week. This is my return to home today after a long day at office and the residence permit collection. So let's wrap up week 15. Just put my laundry in the machine. Uh, as you saw before, the Maastricht, I went to Maastricht and we uh, it was really, I mean, a good experience of so fast track uh, delivery of my residence permit. So I collected my new residence permit. And I also uh, had Christmas, pre-Christmas party that is also popularly known here as Santa Claus party in our university where each colleague brought like my, some nice like delicious yeah. food and it was really a nice afternoon. So now we are in the Christmas party in week 15 in our university where our colleagues have brought different kinds of dishes everyone has prepared something like mini pizza and some pastry some fruits some wine. it's my week 15 vlog I haven't seen no. your... Uh, oh, you have video? Ha. No bad, huh? Oh, some Chinese pomelo. cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the melon looks <laughs> really <laughs> nice. Pomelo. <laughs> nice architecture. So the bake is just... Uh, it's a mandarin or a sinus apple. It's a grape. You can grape yeah. like it. You pack that so. Yeah. And then do it in the grape fruit. Uh, yeah. mm, there's a lot of varieties here. And that is what grow. So she, you can just act so... Oh. Yeah. So you can't really make this. Uh, oh, it's a video. Uh, right. It's a bit. Yeah, the so where, did, uh, where did the where did the Tulabako? Uh, now we have a. Hmm. If I was fast like the the Papierkorb, the Mülleimer. Ah, I see it. 
Ik heb een paar vragen. Ik heb een paar vragen. Ik heb een paar vragen. Op de zondag ook een beetje ontbijt. Ze blijven een beetje peuter. Ik heb een paar vragen. 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 Ik heb een How is the taste? Is it sweet or very sour? No, it's actually more sweet than sour. Mm -hmm. Oh. And not very, um, yeah, like you said, moist or liquid. Yeah, or yeah. And, um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, the other one's this big. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she not I'm uh, going to make an. Uh, yeah, this is my week clock. 15. No, no, <laughs> this is part of my week 15. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's a part of your week 15. Yeah, 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 and continuing my meeting last week, as I said before, uh, last week we met the people from Zoid, uh, the students from Zoid who are working on the detection part as I mentioned earlier. So compared to our last meeting, what I experienced this week, I met them again and i found that they were a bit more enthusiastic as they come to know about the project and they also worked a bit with alexa uh, alexa check the information card on the top right corner of last week you can understand why i'm talking about alexa it's basically they will use alexa for uh, extracting the audio signal features from the microphone array that alexa has when they work in a group for group project work or something like that and uh, i mean in the two weeks considering the students coming from third or final year bachelors it was really i mean to me it was i was very happy with their progress and uh, i hope that they at the end of their time that is the last week of january they managed to build something which will be uh, partially useful for my PhD research that's the main important thing here and uh, well everyone is not interested to hear exactly my research but what you can gain from this like what lessons you can learn is that if your PhD program is flexible I have seen this in most places in Netherlands I think you can call it all or maybe outside India like it's very flexible so most places in Europe made in Netherlands or made in Switzerland uh, as a PhD if you can delegate some part of your work uh, so delegation is the key so if you can delegate your work to other smaller parties smaller in the sense they have a shorter time duration to work on that part. So suppose in my case, imagine that I have a part A and part B. So for part B, my main focus now is in part B. I, I won't go into the details because I just want to make it general so that people working in different sectors or doing a different type of PhD will be useful for them. So for part A, what I do is suppose uh, think that part A will contribute maybe 30 or 40 percent to my PhD and part B will contribute approximately around 60 percent of my PhD. So the part A involves uh, building some kind of a software and hardware system for my experiments. But part B is mostly concerning me so I will only focus on part A that is where your delegation uh, takes into account, uh, comes into play. So what you can do is for part A, that is the one you want to delegate. So you can extract some work from other P 
people so maybe like as i am doing with the bachelor students or maybe you can depending on how flexible or how is the resources what are the resources available to you in my case i am very lucky to have lot of resourceful promoters and supervisors because they are associated with different universities like one of my promoter is associated with tu delft and uh, another promoter apart from my university another promoter is associated with two universities in germany one is frankfurt and another is goth university i think i i cannot pronounce the name i'll leave the details below of both my promoters and their affiliations so what it helps is uh, for my experiments or maybe for delegating this part a i can subdivide them depending on my requirements and depending on the expertise that is available to me from these institutes uh in which they have associations and then delegate the work so now i have delegated to some bachelor students and later what we can do is we can delegate some sub parts of that part a to maybe some tu delft master thesis students or maybe some bachelor or master students in frankfurt so you see how easy it becomes like if you delegate that part a which will contribute like 30 or 40 percent to your phd so you bring in the research perspective but building that software within this time duration might be difficult so what you do is it is like a win win for both the parties so for them they achieve their thesis they learn something on that domain on which they are working and maybe later they might be also interested to be associated with your project or that may lead them to a successful career in job or any kind of software industry and for me it fulfills my phd to some extent so see how the powerful nature of delegation and collaboration come into play together you should uh, learn this art when you find that don't always think that you can do everything by yourself i know you can be ambitious that's good but if you have the opportunity and if you have these many resources at your hand then my friend you should always try to delegate that part which i am delegating now to maybe like 10 different parties with the course of the time and when you have the part b ready maybe in a year you will have also the part a ready which would have been really difficult because you delegated to n different sub parts so that's my main uh, tip for this week so see you next week with a fresh new experience and maybe a fresh new interview if i find time because you know phd has a lot of deadlines and experiments and everything so keep watching subscribe and share and uh, keep subscribing and also don't forget to press the bell notification so that you are immediately notified when i post a video so till next week bye bye